Lindstrom again, and I'm here to share with you one of the things that I do to manage my wardrobe. I don't know if you ever go to your closet and say, I have no more room in here, but I have nothing to wear. Well, I'm gonna show you a technique that I've been using for many, many years, and this is how it works. What you do is you take everything out of all your closets and put it on your bed. And before you touch any of those things on your bed, you ask yourself one simple question. Would I purchase this again? Would I actually buy it again? Doesn't matter if it's got memories of you know somebody's wedding. It doesn't matter if it reminds you of when you were 17. Doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. Would you buy it again? And if the answer is yes, then you have an empty closet to put it back into, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start off with what happens to the things that you decide not to buy out of when you go shopping in your closet. So I have one great big black garbage bag here full of stuff that's just, you know, it's just had the best, it's just it's not gonna be part of my life anymore. And um, it's worn out, doesn't fit, I wouldn't even give it to anybody. And then I have another nice bag here that I'm going to put things into that I'm going to give to somebody else. Or I, if they're in really good shape, I might have a second bag. I might want to take some of them to a consignment store. I don't know, if they're just not serving me anymore, maybe somebody else can get some use of them or I can donate them to a charity. So decide where the things are gonna go before you start, decide where the things are gonna go that you decide not to take. All right, so let's get started. Clear off your bed. You can't go to bed tonight until that stuff has all been dealt with. And as I said, you start by taking everything out of your closets and putting it on the bed. It doesn't matter what season it is. And guess what I found? A bunch of empty hangers. You know when you just go in and you just take the pants off and put them on and then the hanger stays in there and then you wonder what happened to all your hangers. Okay, so I've got a laundry basket for my empty hangers. I'm gonna put them in there. Okay, I'm gonna keep going and you're gonna see what happens. Here's a little tip. As you're emptying out your closet, which is your prime real estate for your clothing, you're gonna be tempted to go, oh, I forgot about this, this is hidden in there. No, don't stop, just Keep putting it on the bed. Just keep going. Just empty out your closet. Okay, so you've got all your stuff on the bed and an empty closet. Now you decide how you're going to fill this empty space so that it really works for you and it's organized in a way that allows you to get dressed really easily in the morning. You see, it's not about having a lot of clothes. <laughs> Although, I mean, I'm a fashion designer. I've accumulated a lot of clothing over the years and some of the things I just hate partying with. But the important thing is that it's making your life simpler the way that your wardrobe is managed. And I do this twice a year. Uh, it, the winter has been so long this year and I've been so busy. I haven't had a chance to change over to my summer clothes. We've got some nice weather. I wanna just have my summer clothes in the closet I have a, another storage area where I can put my off-season clothes and then in the fall, I'll do the whole thing over again and switch them around. And what that means is that nothing is hanging in your closet at the back for years and years that you've sort of forgotten about. So it gets everything out and gives you a chance to clean vacuum in there. And you're going to go over to the very, very first piece of clothing that's on top and you're gonna go, well, A, I've never worn it, still got the tag on it. B, I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it. I've had it for about five years. I'm gonna give this to somebody, it's brand new, but somebody who will really, really enjoy it. So it's gonna go in that clear plastic bag down there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is, I would, I'm not gonna buy that again, but guess what? I'm going to buy this again. This is a t-shirt that probably costs like 15 or $20 or something, very cheap, but I have to keep it, you know why? Because it matches my all, my all my DeWalt power tools. 
<laughs> whatever the reason is that you're keeping something, you decide where it's gonna go in your closet. You could decide that you want all your casual wear on one side and all your dressier wear on the other side. What I like to do is I dress according to color. I like to organize my closet, and this may sound crazy, but it works for me, okay? I like to organize my closet in order of the colors of the spectrum. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet is how I organize it. And then I put my neutrals in the middle, my blacks and my whites in the middle. So this is yellow, so red, orange, yellow. I'm gonna put this in the, towards the left of the middle of this upper rack. And I, I like to put my tops on the top rack and I'm gonna put my bottoms on the bottom rack and then I put all my long dresses and jumpsuits over to one side. I think I'm gonna flip it around from when it was before because I had my, yeah, I'm gonna do something different so that when I open up my closet, it looks different than it did before. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Belly dancing. <laughs> I might take it up again. I think I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> we all have a million stories. Like this is a top that I bought at a fall fair. And I walked by the booth and these I could tell these people hadn't sold a thing all day and I felt sorry for them, so I bought this. But it looks really, it doesn't look good on me at all. It would look good on somebody, but I couldn't try it on there. And it's, it's just, it just doesn't, it's not good, but I know somebody will love it, so I'm gonna give it away. For sure you're gonna pick up something here and go, you know, I really like that, but try it on. Try it on and see, A, does it still fit? B, is it dirty? So it's really good to have a mirror handy I totally forgot. You know what I think? Here's what I think we do. It's what I do anyway. I have certain things that I really like so much that I save them. Like I wanna, I wanna save them for something special. And that something special just doesn't come along or when it does I forget that I've got it hanging in my closet waiting for something special. So I think that the thing is, if it fits and you like it and you would buy it again, even if you'd only paid five bucks for it, Put it in a part of your closet where you're going to see it so that you'll just wear the heck out of it. And I think that I misjudged this piece because I, I like the way it fits me. Um, I think I've been saving it for good when in fact I should be wearing it in a more casual way, you know? Like it's linen, right? It's a linen whatever. So I'm going to keep this. But I'm gonna put it where I can see it because it was way in the back of my closet and I couldn't see it and I forgot about it. It's not dirty. It could use a press, but um, I'm gonna wear it. Actually, I think I'm gonna leave it on right now. Huh. Okay, so the thing that's gotta be included in this is that drawer with all of your bras bras and panties. It's the drawer where things keep going in but nothing ever comes out. Oh, every single bra, panty, Spanx, all those things you've had stuffed in that drawer, I know I did, have to come out and does it fit? Do I wear it anymore? Is it dirty? Would I buy it again? Oh my gosh, I love this bra. It's like one of my favorite bras. Definitely gonna keep this one. Okay, I bought this underwear. It's by Jockey. And when I first bought it, it fit me great. And after washing, it just doesn't fit me anymore. And it just pisses me off whenever I try and wear them. Gone. Oh yeah. <laughs> At one point in my life, I thought I was a thong girl, but I'm not a thong girl. I'm not. I thought I could be. But no, those are going in the garbage. 
keep going. Don't get discouraged. Keep going and just start placing everything. And guess what? When I put my underwear that I wanted to keep that fits me really well under the bum and everything, I um, I folded it up nice. And I know it's not going to stay that, that way for long, but it, it was kind of gave me some pleasure just to kind of feel like I was acquiring it again and taking care of it again and wearing it. So hopefully I have some, some room in my lingerie, my underwear drawer now, uh, so I can see what, what I have. <laughs> okay, keep going. Okay, you can see that I'm like almost done. Almost everything is, I gave a whole bunch of things away. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking of a, a friend that I know who, um, uh, who's really gonna appreciate those clothes and um, if she doesn't need them herself then she'll pass them on to somebody who will really enjoy them so that makes me feel really really good I shopped my closet and decided to keep a few things and organize them in such a way well would you like to see hang on there's my closet it goes from red to yellow then the neutrals I threw some green in there then to turquoise and the blues Tops are on the top, bottoms on the bottom. It might seem to you like I have a lot of clothes, but um, this is my, my entire wardrobe. So I've kind of put the winter clothes like over there and, um, and then sort of focused on my summer clothes here. I spend a lot of time in a bathing suit in the summer. So a lot of these things are, uh, you know, cover-ups and uh, things to wear over a bathing suit, pareos and things like that. I feel so good. I feel so <sighs> more ready for the summer and knowing that I can just go over to my closet and pick a white shirt and um, a pair of pants. That's my uniform in the studio. If I'm going out, I can pick something a little bit and more colorful over here. It all makes sense. 